you know, several years ago, like 15, I started working on a cookbook. It's called The Men's Cookbook. And um, the recipes in the cookbook were recipes that I collected from all over the world. <clears throat> and uh, I tried to uh, make most of them sound like they, were, like they were my own recipes, but I've already admitted that I've stolen most of them. And one of the people that I stole most of them from is my friend Pat Huckabee. Uh, at least a couple of good ones. No smoking, by the way. Um, in fact, here's, like <coughs> here's uh, some pages that I resurrected tonight from part of the cookbook. I don't know if you can zoom in on these. There's page one. Okay. You probably can't read the fine print. But this recipe is for shrimp. And um, I've recommended it to people over the years. And 100%, I'm not saying like 97%, or 100% of people that have tried it have reported back and said, that's the best shrimp recipe we've ever had and one of the best overall of any recipe we've ever had. So um, that's why I made a, a big effort. I had to call the Screen Directors Guild uh, to get Pat over from Louisiana, but he's, he's come, he's here. Um, and uh, he is gonna describe making Pat's Acadian shrimp. Um, so I think it's a fine, one of the finest recipes of any kind I've ever eaten. You can take this recipe and, and start to eat it and you can have a platter of filet mignon right here and nobody want anything to do with them. They'll want the shrimp. I want to say one more thing um, before Pat takes over on this recipe. I'm going to be directing this, by the way. It's not, he's not going to be on his own. I'm going to be right on the other side here. Hand signals um, like this, you know, all so this comes out right. But remember this one thing. It's one of my favorite quotes by one of my favorite inspirational leaders, uh, Coach John Wooden. And what he said was, um, it's what you learn after you already think you know everything that counts. So that's why I'm, I'm willing to let uh, Pat take over the stage. So now This recipe is nothing more than all the old Louisiana families. They all say the same thing, it's a family recipe, right? Well, what this is, is basically a collage of many different people's recipes. And you just kind of tweak it, if you would, to where it uh, tastes like you like it. And that's kind of what it is. It's, it's very simple, easy to do. Uh, it requires spices, and we'll get into those in a minute. Uh, if you have shrimp with the heads on, that's a good thing to do. If you don't, don't worry about it. And they, they, they're going to taste good regardless, so it doesn't matter. But what you do is heat your, heat your oven, and we'll prepare the shrimp, and you cook them at 400. And you don't cook them for a long time. You don't cook them until they're tough as shoe leather. You cook them till the shrimp are cooked. And it doesn't take long to cook shrimp. So remember that, don't overcook them. We're also gonna, gonna have bread. We prepared some French bread and it's nothing more than a, a French bread made by Lejeune's French bread in Generette, Louisiana. And we took butter and minced garlic and made a spread, and we're going to heat that in the oven, and we're going to eat it with the shrimp. You probably eat more of that than you will the shrimp, because you'll want to be sopping it in the 
in the juice. But uh, that's basically the, the entire recipe, if you would. We'll go through the steps, but it's, it's easy. It's a, a 30 to 40 minute deal, and uh, I, I, th I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, we're gonna turn this little jewel to 400, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our shrimp. Pretty easy, but first thing let's do is let's cut lemons. And you know, you always have to have a drink. I don't know that we can properly prepare this dish without a toddy. Thank you, sir. We use quite a bit of lemon juice in this and we also put the lemons on the shrimp when we put them in the oven. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the slices and I just cut them around. I don't make it hard. slices to where we can cover the pan and the rest of it we're going to use as juice. All of this will be used as juice. The rest of them we'll just cut in half. And we're just going to use it as juice. I don't use the, the prepared juices. You know, not that you can't because you can. I, I just always just use the real deal. But the shrimp, let's get them laid in there and then we'll start putting everything that we need on top of it. And you lay them out and you're going to turn them over one time during the process. You know, as you watch them, you're going to want to turn them over one time as you do this. This is just uncooked raw shrimp in a shell. When you can, the best way to do this is when we're in a boat, we go to the shrimp boats that are working the bays and, and uh, close in them, and we get shrimp right off the boat. Well, not everybody can do that, and I understand that. So there's nothing wrong with doing it the way we're doing it, but if you can go get them off the boat, go get them off the boat. Because that's the best, especially the ones that aren't uh, IQF, which is the individual quick freeze. And when you can do that, that's the ticket. And this is, as you put this in there, when you're doing the seasoning, I would love to tell you that you need an eighth of a cup or a quarter of a cup or a half a cup or whatever it is. But the truth is, is you're going to have to season it like you would want to season the food on your plate. And that's what we're going to do here. And I'll show you. It might not make sense to a lot, but it makes sense to us. Now, you just squeeze your lemon juice until there is no juice. If you get pulp in there, that's fine. Doesn't hurt anything. I had seven lemons for this. I use a lot of lemons. A lot of lemon juice. A 
Well, one of the things we can't do without, as I mentioned, was a tie. And I'm not sure what, what everybody likes to drink. But I'm going to tell you what I'm drinking. And not many people know what that is, although some do. And that's a Chansale. What in the world is that? Chansale is French a salty dog. And it's grapefruit juice and vodka with salt. Some people use gin. I use vodka because it's readily available. And that's it. But you, you, you gotta have it. You've never had one, have one. Remember, I told you. And this, I put the, the lemon, I just put them on, the, on top of the shrimp. You probably hadn't seen this either. You have Tony Sasher's and you have a lot of similarities to Tony Sasher's. This is one, and I use this because a friend of mine makes it, that's all. It's called Bon Caca. And in French that means good shit. <laughs> and again, I just season this just like we were talking about, just like you're gonna season a plate. Yeah, Tony Sasson's is, is probably more available in a number of places than this is. You're not going to find this everywhere. But Tony Sasson's is fine to use. There's several others, but Tony Sasson's is probably the, the most well-known, and I like it too. So it's not that, that's certainly not a problem. This is just Worcestershire, and I'm going to use about half. That's just a normal... 10 ounce bottle and I'll use a little more than half of that in making this sauce because what you're doing here you're making a sauce and that sauce is what these shrimp are going to be in and you're going to bake them. This is the hot sauce that I use and that's Louisiana hot sauce. There's Tabasco that probably everybody in the world is, is familiar with. Uh, Tabasco is made in my hometown. So it's this, but anyway, I, I use the Louisiana, and it's, uh, I like it. It's not, probably not as hot as Tabasco. Now, Paul McElhenney wouldn't want me to say that, as I knew Mr. Paul very well. But, again, you season this like you would season a plate of food. Now, we're going to get the cardiologists involved and we're going to put a little butter on it. I didn't mean to get the half stick, but I did. And basically all you're doing is cutting them thin and you're going to put them on top. And all I do is cover what you have here. Like I said, the cardiologist is going to be asking me about this. <laughs> but it sure makes the dipping sauce good. The cooking part that I got started with began at home, my, my mother was a, a cook just like her mother and all of her family. And my dad was a cook, and of course in Louisiana, for whatever reason, seems like men cook an awful lot. I don't know why, but they do. And being in different hunting camps and places like that, I've been around men cooking all the time. It was just part of the scenery, I guess. And 
it was no different at my house because my dad cooked an awful lot all the time and always told mama she should have had a catering service but she didn't <laughs> it was just what we did growing up and my friends same thing we we all started cooking and we would be at, at different camps Again, you, you, you do it to looks. <laughs> I know that doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but it does to me. <laughs> and that's what you have. Now, you can't cook anything without God. God have God. So we'll do that. Spread it in there. Now once you get the sauce melted, then we can start and flip the shrimp and this will get all stirred in there. I said if I have fresh garlic, I'll use it. Squeeze some and I'll chop some if I can do that. Today I didn't. You don't use a lot, but you use enough to season this. And of course, garlic is you season to taste as well, because some people like more garlic than others. So, you know, a lot of this is, well, that's how we derived the recipe. It was basically taking bits and pieces that we had seen, or I had seen, and customizing it to your own taste. Okay, let's check them. It's been our 12 minutes. Well, the sauce looks pretty good. Let's flip these guys. What do you want, tongs? All we're doing is turning them. Put your lemons back on top. And, and we'll do that again. And I'm just running them over all the, make sure nobody gets left out. That's nasty. You want to try it? See if you can stand it. <laughs> I think we're in good shape. Now, let's put her back in there. And I'm just going to step in here for a second. <laughs> We're having a pretty good time doing this, but I'll tell you something. I'm having a better time than no, you all. Um, no comprehension of what this tastes like. This has a flavor that you, once it hits your taste buds, you can't even, you can't even, it, it, it's one of those things you can't talk about a long time. <laughs> it's so good. I just it's good. Sample. It's good. I think cut. the sauce is okay. Well, I'm, cut that. Cut. No, I think it, uh, oh. <laughs> Let's try them. We're going to look at them and see what we think. I've got a pretty good idea. We're going to let that one cool. Again, 
it's the taste, but between the Tony Sashers and this, it gives it a darker color sometimes. But I think we've, we've got it like we like it. Now again, when you're doing this and you taste it, you can adjust it. You know, you can put, you know, if you want more seasoning, you want more whatever, whether it's garlic or, or lee and perrin or whatever it is, I don't have the patience you have. And what we do need to do is try one of the big ones. But I'm sure it's done. I see what you need to do is you take this and you suck the whole thing. You get all of that old nasty juice off of it. Then right, let's peel have, it. Let's have a display of how then you can peel it. Uh, show peeling. It's hot. But it's not that hot. Mm. Is that going to work? It's edible. <laughs> so, now we have the French bread. What you do is you put a few shrimp in your plate and we're going to cut some bread. You take whatever bread you want because you're going to take this bread. I'll take this little piece that doesn't hurt anybody. And after you eat the shrimp the way I did, you're going to have to do this, I'm telling you. Okay, well this is the recipe that I put in the men's cookbook, which has been going to be published in 2022. But this was the original recipe that was in there nine years ago. And we've done it for you today, and it's fabulous. You need to try it at home. It's beyond belief. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed. It's simple to do, but try it at least once.